Welcome to XR template tutorial lesson number 42. In this XR Web Designer 7 Premium tutorial, we'll be going over how to use the Cloud Zoom widget in the Designs Gallery. And I promise you, this tutorial will be an excellent tutorial. It'll be something unique and new uh, that will allow you to zoom in on special parts of your uh, images. So I hope that you really enjoy uh, this particular tutorial. If you haven't already, go ahead and open a blank new document in the XR Web Designer 7 Premium software. Uh, once you do that, we're going to go ahead and go to the Designs Gallery in the upper right hand corner of your screen here. And when you go to the Designs Gallery, let's go ahead and lock that panel. And once you lock that panel, you're going to look for the folder called Widgets, Forms, and More. And when you find that folder, go ahead and click on it and it'll open it up and show the subfolder which will be the eye catcher folder showing all the widgets that we have in that particular folder so once you open up the eye catchers folder uh, we're gonna look for the cloud zoom widgets and if you scroll down you'll see eventually that we get to some of the cloud zoom widgets and you'll know that because it says cloud tent zoom one for this first uh, widget and you'll see that there's a series of different types of cloud zooms. You'll have cloud tent zoom 2, cloud inner zoom 1, cloud inner zoom 2. So there's quite a few different cloud zoom uh, widgets. But in this tutorial, I'm only going to be showing you a few of them. I'm not going to go through all of them. So you can just kind of experiment uh, once I show you, uh, you know, one or two of the cloud zoom widgets. And we're going to actually make another tutorial that's going to cover uh, the last two widgets here. And those are called Cloud Gallery 1 and Cloud Gallery 2. For this particular tutorial, we're not going to cover those. So don't worry about the last two uh, widgets here. But the other Cloud Zoom widgets, we're going we're gonna to be focusing on how to edit those. We're not going to go through all of them. I'm only going to choose like one or two probably. But just know that the knowledge that I share with you in this tutorial is going to allow you to be able to edit any of these. So, and there's about a total of six here, as you can see on the screen, uh, for the Cloud Zoom widgets. And as I said again, uh, the, the last two we're not going to cover in this tutorial, the Cloud Gallery 1 and Cloud Gallery 2. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that you want to do once you have your blank new document open is to drag in uh, this first one called Cloud Tent Zoom 1. So let's go ahead and left click and drag that to our workspace. Once you go ahead and drag that to your workspace, uh, the next thing you're going to do is double left click on it because this is a widget and we want to go into edit mode. So let's go ahead and double left click on that. And once you double left click on that, you'll see again that there's a little notes here in the top part that tell you how to edit. Uh, this particular widget and as I said before I'm not going to probably read through this uh, because you know that's the purpose of this video tutorial is just to show you how to edit things and not actually read through what you could read on your own so once you go ahead and open that up you'll notice that uh, we have something called a zoom viewer label and I don't know if you can see that on screen so I'm going to try to zoom in some so I want to zoom in probably about a hundred maybe two hundred percent yeah, 200% is good. So I know you can see that on the screen here. And you'll see a thing called Zoom Viewer Label. And this is the title of uh, for your photo. So in this case, you can see that there's some tiles. Uh, looks like some kind of uh, special accessory here. I don't know what that is, actually. It could be perfume. It could be anything. It could be soap. And then you have a bar of soap. And you've got, I don't know what these things are here. It looks like it might be some pills or something. Not exactly sure. But whatever the case, you got a few different elements here. And you probably want to name your uh, title based off of what you have here. So I could put, you know, maybe, and that, by the way, I double left click that to turn it to edit mode. And you can select that and change it to whatever you want. Now, there is more than one way to select that. You don't have to double left click it. You can simply go to your toolbar, select the text tool by left clicking it, and then clicking on that particular title. So there's two ways to do that. I'm going to double left click it because I'm used to doing that. And then I'm going to highlight this and change it to reflect what this image is. 
and in this case I'm just gonna call it bathroom accessories and hopefully I can spell accessories correctly okay looks like I spelled it correctly not sure either way if I didn't spell it right it doesn't matter that's not the point of this tutorial so you'll see I wrote bathroom accessories to reflect what this image is and after we're done making our edits I'm gonna show you how to change the picture actually too uh, what you want to do is go to your uh, start menu if you're in Windows XP and go to my pictures and you should already be familiar with this especially if you watch my previous tutorial uh, after, you, after you click on uh, my pictures go to sample pictures and then you're gonna drag in whatever image you want in this case I'm gonna probably drag in the water lilies and drag that into our workspace on top of this picture and you'll see that it replaces that picture so I just wanted to show you how to replace that you can change it to whatever picture you want I'm gonna hit the undo key so that the picture reflects what I have for the title here called bathroom accessories so once you decide what you want to do on that we'll go ahead and close this out because those are the main edits that we're gonna have to make so go ahead and close out from edit mode by clicking the X button and then hit save that's what it's asking here do you want to save your changes and then once you do that you'll see that those new changes are reflected here in our regular workspace so let's go ahead and go to file and then go to preview website and this is the grand finale this is where you're gonna see uh, how the cloud zoom widget works if you place your cursor over certain elements in this design you'll see that we were able to zoom in on those bathroom accessories such as the towel and you can see the textures and this is really nice when you're displaying a product to a client and you can zoom in you can see you know this soap or you know whatever this stuff is in this bottle and if you place your cursor over the soap bar you can see some of the the greater detail so it allows you to have a basically basically what the cloud zoom allows you to do is have a smaller uh, picture on your website and save you some space and then when they place their cursor over that image they can zoom in and get you know bigger details of that image so it's really nice it saves you space and it also looks really cool you know you can even see some of the little pebbles here if you look really closely uh, in the image so I think it's really cool and also you'll notice that uh, to the right of uh, the screen you'll see that it also has our title there that says bathroom accessories just to give you a title so you'll see that uh, as well so let's go ahead and go back to our workspace let's go ahead and close this screen out and I'm going to go ahead and delete this uh, particular widget that we just created and so I'm going to hit the delete key while I have it selected and that will remove that particular widget so let's go ahead and, and give a demonstration of another widget and I'm trying to decide which one I want to show you uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you the cloud standard zoom and let's go ahead and drag that into our workspace and you can use whichever one you want I'm just showing you this particular one uh, they're pretty much have the same com common you know background in terms of what they do uh, there's just slight differences so let's go ahead and double left click on that and just like before I'm going to zoom in and get a closer view on the widget and when you get up close you'll see again that we have a zoom viewer label that we can change and I'm gonna change that to maybe conference room so maybe maybe you're getting a new conference room designed and you know the your architect or maybe the person that's that's designing the conference room for you is an architect or something and they want to have a way of displaying or showing you uh, a visual of what it could look like a digital rendering and don't worry if you don't know what I mean by that so now that we've changed the title let's go ahead and and close this out I'm not going to change the picture it's the same process I just showed you just simply drag a picture in and replace it with your own personal picture so let's go ahead and close this uh, particular edit mode out for this zoom widget once you do that it's going to ask you do you want to save your changes again go ahead and click save and then we're going to go to file preview website 
and we're going to place our cursor over this and again just like before it'll allow you to see uh, the different elements in this image now there are some slight differences you probably can't tell uh, but the other uh, which it kind of faded in slowly that we had and I can bring that one back up and show you what I mean but in this particular one it just brings it up pretty much right away what is minor very minor differences you probably can barely tell but in general just know that there's minor details that even your visitors probably won't notice that are different about the different cloud zooms so I'll go ahead and I'll quickly show you some of the other ones uh, don't worry about following along with me for the other uh, cloud zooms I'm just going to quickly show you some of the differences between them and uh, allow you to kind of take a quick view on what that looks like so I'm going to make this very quick and if you place your cursor over this one you'll see that again it's a little bit smoother in my opinion for this one so I don't I don't know if that was an intentional thing but as you can see you can zoom in on certain parts of the image for a hotel uh, let's go ahead and look at another one let's take a look at the one with the guy with the instrument and go to file preview website and again remember you're not having to follow along with me for this one I'm just simply going over them really quickly so you can just see what the the different cloud zooms allow you to do now you notice for this one it doesn't create a image to the right of it it makes it right within the original image and it allows you to zoom around and see details so there are some some minor differences between them and you'll have to kind of just experiment so I'm not going to go through the rest of these I just wanted to show you that there are some differences between uh, the different zoom uh, cloud zooms for the widgets so I hope this tutorial was helpful in teaching you uh, how to edit a cloud zoom widget and I hope that you see the value in uh, using a cloud zoom widget and if you have any questions you know please feel free to send me a message on YouTube uh, if you have a request for a specific type of video uh, just let me know and I'll try to make a training video uh, for whatever area that you want me to and don't forget to give us thumbs up subscribe to our video and feel free to embed our video any feedback such as that or even leaving us a comment will help help us to know if we're on the right track so uh, definitely give us some feedback uh, because we want to continue to help you make uh, the best usage of your uh, Xara software so uh, thanks again for viewing this tutorial and I hope that you stay tuned for future tutorials yeah.